Happy New Year, and it's a happy new look on the Wednesday Drawing Show. Wednesday Drawing Show. Well, I've got a great show for you today, starting with how to draw from your imagination and memory with a great artist called Don Moyer. Then I've got a lot of Wednesday Drawing Show news about where the show is going in 2013 and how you can be involved. What's in the mail and the wall of fame? Then I have a task for you. Yes, a project you can all be involved in, but let's not talk about it. Let's get on with the show. Many people ask me how they can learn to draw from their imagination. Well, that is a really difficult question to answer, but I got a really good idea when I came across the work of Don Moyer, a fantastically talented artist from Pittsburgh, USA. Last week, I showed you how to make a tracing of Albrecht Dürer's rhinoceros. Well, it turns out that more than 40 years ago, Don had to paint a copy of Albrecht Dürer's rhinoceros on canvas as a backdrop for a trade show booth. Don told me that having traced the drawing, much of the detail was still in his brain somewhere. So when he was invited to paint a masterpiece from memory, he had plenty of impressions to work with. Don suggested I look at the Flickr group, Masterpieces from Memory, for more examples. He says, it's great fun to try to remember a classic painting and draw it from memory. It forces you to think about the basics, and the next time you see the original, you pay much more attention to it. The strongest ones are all paintings that I sketched or traced years before, Don says. So I support your notion that tracing is good for the hand and eye. Well, thanks, Don. And I think that is a way to get into drawing from the imagination. Picture something in your head that you know really well, and then try to draw what you see in your mind's eye. Now, this may be difficult for some, but with practice, you'll be able to hold that vision in your head so that you can draw it on paper. With more practice, you'll be able to create the images that you see in your head and start drawing from your imagination. Click here to see me trying to draw rhinoceros from my imagination. Now, if you find it hard drawing from the imagination, just stop worrying about it and try joining in with the great task that I've got for you at the end of the show. Let's see if we can get your imagination moving. Don has some great ideas about doing drawings of people that he knows or sees in the street. And I think I'm going to have to ask him a few questions about that to share with you. Now that brings me to news about the Wednesday Drawing Show itself. I've been thinking and planning hard over the holidays. The Wednesday Drawing Show is a lot of hard work for one person, so I'd like to open it up a bit. I'd like to feature great YouTube artists, so uh, let me know who are your favourites and your comments in the box down below. I'd also like to get you to make slots for the Wednesday Drawing Show. So if you have any great ideas you'd like to share, please get in touch. Most of all, I need your help to tell the world about the Wednesday Drawing Show. First, I want you to make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Then click down at the bottom of the video to like, favourite and share this show and feel free to do this every week if you enjoy this show. Then please tweet and Facebook, G Plus and Tumble or anything else you do. Don't keep the Wednesday Drawing Show to yourself. Please tell your school, college, workmates, family, friends, anyone. Spreading the word is very easy. In fact, I'm going to set a target. I want you to help me to get this video 10,000 views by next week. Can we do it? I think you can help. I've also set up www.thewednesdaydrawingshow.com. There you can keep up with all things Wednesday Drawing Show and you can upload and share your drawings very easily so I can put them on the show. I want the Wednesday Drawing Show to be the biggest thing since pencils were invented. If you want me to carry on making these shows, then I really need your support and I want you to feel that you too are part of the Wednesday Drawing Show. What's in the mail? What's in the mail? What's in the mail? What's in the mail this week? Well, do you remember Tom? 
I introduced you to him a couple of weeks ago when I showed his sketchbook. Tom has given me this great drawing, all done in biro, to go up on the wall of fame. <laughs> up it goes, Tom. And only one letter in the mail this week. Come on, send them in, send them in. It's from Lauren Cross in North Carolina and she sends me this gorgeous version of my poinsettia drawing. Lauren says, I watch your videos on YouTube and look forward to your Wednesday drawing shows. I am 20 and have decided I wanted to get back in touch with my creativity. Well, that's what we're all here for, Lauren. So stick around and make sure you're subscribed. This is going up on the wall of fame. On www.thewednesdaydrawingshow.com, two pioneers have uploaded their artwork. First on the site is Eggs and Bacon from Mike Beale. Thanks, Mike. That's a big first from you. And these great drawings are from Ashley. Now keep sending your work in online, or if you want to be in the Wall of Fame, send it to... I love getting stuff in the mail. Talking of imagination, amazing things happen when ideas come together and mix. When I was tracing Jura's rhinoceros a couple of weeks ago, I was quite taken by the way he shaded a circular patch on the rhino's hind quarters. The image is a woodcut, which is not as easy to make as drawing with a pen on paper. So the curves are built up in a way that has the effect of convincing your eye that the drawing has three-dimensional depth. I'd normally do that with cross-hatching. Dura's way requires a lot more skill and practice. As I was tracing the curves, I realised that they worked exactly the same way as the contours on a map. If you've ever gone walking cross-country and followed a map, you'll have been able to choose the easiest route by looking at the contours. When they're close together, the hill is going to be very steep and when they are far apart, you'll have a much easier level journey. If you're having difficulty shading drawings, maybe this is a different way to think of how to build up tone with only black lines on white paper. Don't draw, go on a cross country walk and tell the paper how steep the contours are. Now, before we finish, I have a task for you. I want you to draw a rhinoceros from memory. Now, don't go running off and checking things out on Google Images. Just get a piece of paper and have a go. Now, don't let yourself get all uptight about it. It's just a bit of fun. And when you're finished, upload it to www.thewednesdaydrawingshow.com so we can all see it. And next week, we'll share and enjoy on this show. I'm having a go and you can see my finished drawing by clicking up here. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. And if you did, please remember to tell the world and help keep the Wednesday Drawing Show going. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing advice, ideas and fun. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.